I'm leaving cold, wet Barnsley for the warm, sunny climbs of Cornwall. It's gonna be amazing. And I must be mad setting off at this time. It's quarter to three on a Monday and I'm setting off to Cornwall. How stupid is that? And I'm not even going straight there. I've got a call at Helen's. So I've got to drop something off. But Helen's absolutely amazing. And this is why I love her so much. She's like, she's just nipped home and she's, I'll make you a sandwich. She's doing me a pack up, bless her. I love her so much. She's, a, she's just brilliant. So I wish she could come with me on trip, but we're going to go again. Uh, in summer so yeah well that's a good start I've done about 8 mile <laughs> and I'm stuck in traffic it doesn't board well does it we're not rush hour well 3 o'clock tends to be like a bit rush hour doesn't it you know with school traffic and that but he's saying there's road works I bet they're not doing any road works. I bet they'll be all bollards and they'll all be cordoned off into one lane or something. Nobody will be doing all, because they're never doing all. Good morning from a cold and noisy pad store. I got here really late last night. What a drive that was. Eight hours it took me from Barnsley. It said five and a half hours, but we all weather and traffic and everything. Bloody eight hours. So I got here quite late and I just wanted to get my head down. Pulled in this car park right, I think I'm near the harbour, I'm right down up front. And there was a sign that said, that motorhomes were not allowed between the hours of 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. or something like that. But then I thought, well, it's not a motorhome, is it? But I still paid for parking. I've got till about 10 a.m. this morning. I just couldn't be bothered faffing. And when I got here, it didn't look like there'd be many places to park up on any streets. Uh, now, since about I mean, 6 a.m., it's been so noisy. I can just hear like lorries and cranes and there's obviously some sort of road works or something, some sort of renovation work going on on the harbour. So I'm just going to have a quick look round actually. It's it's 10 to 8 now. I'm going to have a quick look round uh, and then I'll probably go up to Tesco's or something and get some breakfast. Tesco's I've decided I'm gonna have I got some cheap ham and some uh, cheese I'm gonna have a ham and cheese toaster and a coffee also top up me uh, baby wipes can never have enough baby wipes in van life I'll tell you what right what you don't see on a lot of van life videos is when you're in a small van the struggle is real i'm telling you what you're just constantly moving stuff around stuff's falling out your cupboards i've got my little kettle and i've plugged it into the uh the bluetti i was on 94 percent so we'll see what it's used it boils really quick that one. Okay. Let's have a look. <clears throat> so 
So at 92%, so it used just 2%. That's alright, isn't it? You've really got to embrace minimalism because I just keep, I'm still doing it now. I've got a pack of four toilet rolls. Oh, that's Helen. It's Ellie Bobs. Oh, I'm not sure your number. Right, hang on. Hello, my darling. Hello, then. Yeah, oh, that didn't sound right. Are you okay? I'm on my way to work. Oh, bless you. Do you know what I'm doing? Uh, you're having a pee in your bottle. <laughs> I'm just vlogging, Helen, and you're doing it already. I'm surprised you've not swore, to be honest. Wait, am I, am I on the thing? You're on the thing, yeah. I don't know if it can pick right, you up. Someone said that I'm acting and I'm bloody not. Somebody said you're acting? Yeah. Every time the camera's on me, I'm, it's an act. I'm not rubbish at acting! <laughs> well, I can't... If I, if I was good at acting, I wouldn't be doing my job that I'm doing. No, you'd be on Emmerdale Farm. <laughs> I'm just I'm just in back at van and I'm making a, a cheese and ham toasty. And I've just made a coffee. So... Uh, anyway... Yeah, I was gonna say... I, 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 still, I was gonna say, anyway, I'll, I'm not acting. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, you need to film yourself waking up in the new van. Well, I were up early this morning. And just let me turn the camera off and then we can have a private conversation. <laughs> have a nice day. You too, gorgeous. Bye. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. 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 Love you bye, love you bye, love you bye. How cheese is that? We're very cheesy me and I. There's no wrong with that. When you've had crappy relationships in the past, there's no wrong with being a bit cheesy. Oh, I burnt my bloody panini. I'll show you from this angle, it's not as bad. Oh, that's worse. Look at that, that's because of her talking up phone. I'm blaming Ellen. Burnt panini. I am gonna sit on there. Oh, that's such a shame. Just pretend burn bit's not on. Blowing a gale out of here. Thought it was supposed to be all tropical down south. Anyway, ham and cheese panini. I'm going to have to let that cool down. A burnt ham and cheese panini. It's alright, you know. It's nice. That bread's lovely from Aldi. Right, so I've come back into Padstow. It is freezing. It's really cold. There's Rick Steins here, look. This is where I'm gonna come later. Just gonna have a wander around first. What time's this open? Opens at 12 noon, so I'll have lunch. You can sit inside, look. Stein's Deli. Giving some heat off that. I'll just stand here and get warm. That's great marketing. It smells so good. So you stand here and look at the menu and think, oh, it's nice and warm. Let's go in. I like that. Look at the little face up there on the window, on the frame. Real anchor. There's one there, look. I think I might be having a pint in there later. I 
I wonder what Sam Ferry's do. I bet they're not even doing it. So that's the ferry across. Is that it? A place called Rock over there. There's a path that goes over the top there. I think I'll walk you up these steps. Just watching this boat come in. I wonder if that's a ferry to, to Rock. Yeah, it is the ferry to Rock. I don't even know what's at Rock. I'd never even heard of it. I thought it were like Alcatraz when I saw it. Or Dwayne Johnson. But it's leaving again in a few minutes. I want to see if I can get on it and go across to Rock. I'll probably be seasick, but you know. Our intrepid explorer crosses about a quarter of a mile of water. Middle of winter though, love. Anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna go and see if I can get on it, that, that boat. See where I end up. I just hope there's one that comes back. Just a single adult, please. Coming back later? Yeah. 1.30 till 2, no service. 1.30 till 2. So I'll 20, just... 20 past 1 is the last one before we stop. We'll start again at 2 o'clock. 20 past 1 is the last one. Before we stop. Before we'll start we... again at 2. Quarter to 5 is the last one tonight. Right, cool. No worries. Thank you very much. Can you imagine prices some of these apartments, these houses? It's called Britain's Saint Tropez. I've never been to Saint Tropez, so I can't compare. I like them trees up there, though. And we're getting blue skies. We're getting blue skies. It's still freezing, though. So there we have Padstow across there. I don't even know if there's anything here. I'm not going all the way up there. There don't seem to be much here. Some nice houses up there, look. Some big posh houses, look at them. I'm sure there's lots to do up in town, but it's a bit too far for me to walk today, so I'm going to go back. I thought there might be a little cafe or something here, but there's not. It's just some big houses that are all being renovated. It's blowing a gale. I don't even know if you can hear me. I've got my wind muff on. Well, yeah. I know you're probably going to say, oh, you missed all action if you'd have gone like half a mile up that road, it's like Vegas. But I couldn't be bothered. There didn't seem to be much happening. So I'm going to wait for the ferry to come back. And I'm going to go back across to Padstow. And it's got to be nearly time for a pint. A pint of Cornish. Cornish ale. Thank you. Right, I'm back. That were a bit of a waste of time, that to be honest. But hey, you don't know unless you try, do you? Could have been amazing. Well, the sun, the sun's still shining. It's one of them days where it gets, keeps going cloudy and then it goes sunny. So I'm back in Padstow. No. What about this one? 
the old shit. I wonder what sort of beers they've got in there. It don't say. Looks alright. The menu here. Yeah, it's just food in it. We'll go in, let's have a look. Okay, I'll have a pint of that, please. Cheers. Pint of Doomba. not doing it for me though. That pint were horrible. Doom bar. I've had Doom bar in the past and it, I don't remember it being that horrible. It must be a different one. But he said that were local. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> Oh, little cafe there. It's a lovely building. Head back down here. Of course, like most seaside towns, it's all holiday homes, isn't it? Basically, rich people from London that have bought them as investments. It's sad, isn't it? Look how that's curved there. I guess it's that time for some fish and chips and I'm sort of not looking forward to paying this amount of money for fish and chips it will be the most I've ever paid but I've got to do it for you guys and I'm going to be fair in my comparison Right, so I've been given a buzzer, you see that? And she says it's going to be 10, 15 minutes. So I've just come for a wonder to have a look at the harbour here. Now that was expensive, but not as expensive as, I thought it was going to be 20 quid plus. So it was £16.65. The uh, haddock and chips was 14 90 and the mushy peas were £1.75 so I don't know if it's uh, cheaper in low season or what but that's different from prices on the board but they'll have been for a restaurant won't they so you'll pay more at a restaurant I don't need a restaurant so I've got my van there why would I bother with that and I feel a bit of a div you know videoing in, in a restaurant so yeah you know an extra point for that maybe 
we'll see. I'm going to be impartial. I'm going to be completely impartial with these fish and chips. I'm going to pretend that I've got them from just any old fish and chip shop, and you know, and, and just do the taste test and everything. And be honest with you. Here we go. Here we go. We're buzzing. We're buzzing. We're buzzing. I'm buzzing. There you go. You got salt and vinegar? Yeah, I've got salt and all that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. That's a bit posh, isn't it? Table up. Can of Aldi Cola. And Rick Stein's fish and chips. Let's see what we've got in the bag. So. That's like a tray, which I assume some peas in that. And here is the box. Are you ready? I'm going to do the grand reveal. Are you ready for this? So there you go. Let me pull that over. Bit of green stuff. And a lemon. That's quite a small tub. <laughs> That's a small tub of mushy peas. It's taller, man. Is it taller? No, it's not taller. They're, they're the smallest peas that I've ever seen. I'm quite excited, to be honest. I'm going to get a chip, and we'll do a chip on its own, like I always do. There you go. Right, chips. As far as chips go, they're not bad. But, they don't taste like fish and chip type chips. They're like chips that you get in a restaurant, you know if you had a steak pie or something. I'm gonna dip it in the peas. So there you go, look. Can you see that? I hope this is picking it up. Peas are nice. Let's try some peas on their own. They're alright. <coughs> They're alright. They're average peas. Right. Fish now. You see that? Butter feels crunchy. That's good butter. But the fish is not brilliant. There's not much taste at fish. <clears throat> there's a bit of skin on, there's not much skin on, but a bit. That don't taste like haddock to me. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I think it is hard out. Do you know what? They're all right. They're all right, you know. See, you're not going to get any drama off me. You're not going to get, they're the worst fish and chips I've ever had. Or oh, they're the best fish and chips. But they're all right.
I've finished them. Have I got my camera straight there? And here's my honest review of Rick Stein's fish and chips in Padstow. Have you noticed everything's got to be one extreme or other, particularly on YouTube, but any sort of media, online, on TV, newspapers, reviews, everything, it's either the best thing ever or the worst thing ever. And that's what I've noticed, and particularly with the reviews of Rick Stein's. I mean, some of the reviews, you'd think they'd like poisoned them. Other reviews, you'd think it were the best food in the world. YouTubers like to create a bit of drama because they want to be getting views, and I understand that, but I can't do that. With, I've, got to, I've got to be honest. And I come into this thinking they've got a bit more expensive fish and chips ever, which the most expensive ones I've ever had, and they were going to be terrible. So I've got, I had preconceptions because of other videos. So, honest review is, yeah, they were expensive. £16.65 for fish, chips and peas. I understand that a little bit because he's got a, a sort of niche there. There's, I've only seen one other fish and chip shop in Padstow. I mean, there might be more. He's got a good location. He's got the name. So, you know what you're paying. You know, you know what it is when you're paying that. It is a lot. And I, I know where all the comments are going to be. People's going to be like, oh, there's no way I'd pay that. But I'm doing this so I can I can review these things and just compare them. But if I had not bought them, somebody had fetched them to me and said, here, try these fish and chips. What would you what do you think of them? I'd say they're nice. They're nice fish and chips. They're not best fish and chips I've ever had. But they're not the worst fish and chips. I think I'm going to give them an 8. They were alright. I'd have them again. Oh, if somebody else bought them. <laughs> they were okay. They were nice. So yeah. As I said, it's subjective, isn't it? And sometimes I could go tomorrow and they might not be as good. You never know, do you? But yeah, I think they're a, they're a solid 8 then. I need to put that on my spreadsheet now. Do you remember? Just the right portion size as well. So I'm going to chill it back in my van and watch a bit of telly. Probably. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a laptop out. Because I've got to start editing this video. I want to get this up for tomorrow night. And I've got a few days down Cornwall. So I've got to decide where I'm going next. I'm going to try Cornish pasty tomorrow. Because you've got to do that, haven't you? And that's me. I've done my fish and chips for a week now. And uh, yeah, where shall I go? St Ives, uh, New Quay, I don't know, I'm trying to think of all places in Cornwall. I'd like to go somewhere with a nice beach, have a look at that. Anyway, there you go, hope you've enjoyed this little video. I just wanted to come and review them fish and chips and let you know what my thought on them was. And just show you a little bit of Padstow. There's not, it's a lovely place, I mean it's really nice, all the back streets and everything. But there's not too much to do. And I'm not right keen on the Cornish beer I've had, but I'll have to try another one tomorrow. We shall see. Anyway, I was just doing my last bit to the camera and batteries died on my GoPro. So, what were I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, like and subscribe. I'm going to find, I'm going to look on my computer and find somewhere where I can go tomorrow. And uh, that'll be in the next vlog. I'm hopefully going to do three vlogs from around here, from down Cornwall, hopefully. They might not be as long as usual. People have asked for longer vlogs. I might try that next week. I'm going somewhere with Helen for a weekend, so I might do that on that vlog. Anyway, thanks very much for all your support and watching, and I really, really appreciate it. Honest to God, it's it's amazing. What lovely comments and everything. So thank you again for that. And uh, I'll see you next one. See you there.